the tower reaches 420 feet into the air, which is about 128 meters. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Main 174 West. And it allows visitors to view the bridge, the nearby Fort Knox State Historic Park, the Penobscot River, and, of course, the Penobscot Bay. Turn right, then your destination will be on the left. Your destination is on the left. Well, hello. Pretty good. Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode. Today we're going up to the Fort Knox Observatory. It's part of a bridge, whoa, way up there on this nice, wonderful, drizzly day. So obviously no drone flying today, but come along with me and see what we can see. And after this, we'll go into Fort Knox itself. Now the official name of the Fort Knox Observatory is the Penobscot Narrows Observatory. And of course, these are the rules. Now at the foot of the observatory, of course there is ample parking, as well as handicapped available bathrooms. And the parking does have a couple handicapped parking spots, as you see here. Now there are these little information boards along the walkway that you can stop and peruse and it tells a lot of really great information. And the ramp is handicap accessible. So you should be able to enjoy the observatory no matter what your needs are. And it really is a very, very short walk. Now there was a previous bridge here. You can see base for one part of it here. And you can see base right there for the other part. Now you can walk around a little bit observatory wise <laughs> down on the bottom level, but since it's uh, nice and rainy, we're not gonna do that today. The Penobscot Narrows Observatory opened to the general public on May 19th, 2007. And it's open at the same times of the year as Fort Knox. All right. Tickets. Oh, Mom's got tickets. When the door opens up the stairs, you straight up, up to the right. Thank you. Press the two to get started. Okay. Press two. Here we go. Five point six miles per hour to get four hundred feet was it? In fifty seconds. In fifty seconds. The Penobscot Narrows Bridge is actually taller than the Statue of Liberty. You're right, it's very, very smooth. But the ears are popping. Yeah, my ears are popping too, yes. <laughs> it offers a quite spectacular 360 degree view of the Penobscot River and Bay, the main countryside and the distant western mountains. Wow, it's high. <laughs> Since the building of the structure, tourists have been attracted to the unique character of this structure, its historical significance, and the stunning, and I do mean stunning, vistas. <laughs> now, as you see, there are steps. If you want to go up to the third and fourth floors. 
Yes, there's the fort. <laughs> yeah, he needs a drone shot when you got this. Wow. The engineering and transportation geeks are fascinated by the award-winning and innovative design. And of course, visitors of all ages and varying interests will enjoy this unique campus that includes, of course, the tallest public bridge observatory in the world. We are very, very high. <laughs> And then when you get up to the top, there you can tell north, south, east, and west. So that. There's a little diagram. And the fort is to the north. Oh. Now there is a little mini elevator that you can use instead of the stairs on the second, third, and fourth floors. And they have little diagrams. That you can look at to see what you're actually seeing. And on the wall of the mini elevator, you see a little explanation about Samuel de Champlain. Now there's a shot of the other tower, which is exactly the same height as what we are right now. If you take a look at that blinking light, just below that is where we are on the sister pillar. That's high. Now right over there you can see one of the pedestals from the old um, bridge, which is the Wado Hancock Bridge that was opened in 1931. And of course, the new one that you see to the right is the Penobscot Narrows Bridge and Observatory, which opened to traffic on December 30th, 2006. Now, each pylon height is a total of 447 feet, but we are only allowed to go up to 400 feet, which is where we're looking out at right now. Well, hello. Oh, so awesome. So don't think we No, yeah. And then, that's us. Yay, wave. Hi. this way. Hello, we made it, we survived. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now that the arena has subsided a little bit, we're gonna be walking around and... Interpretive panels explain the history of the region, natural wildlife, and quite a bit more and a little more about the bridge itself and how it was made. They have a covered pavilion for hosting family reunions, small weddings, other special events. And of course it is a perfect backdrop for vacation and family photos and videos like this. One well, of that, my friends, <laughs> was the observatory nicknamed the Fort Knox Observatory because it overlooks Fort Knox. But I believe it's the Penobscot Observatory Tower, uh, Bridge Tower. Yeah, you saw it at the beginning. <laughs> so where we're off to next is Fort Knox itself. So stay tuned.